Hey everyone, Rubber Mold Man here, and I just wanted to do a quick update video regarding proper mold release on latex rubber molds such as this. Uh, here's the thing, folks. This is a rubber mold I made a long time ago. It's of a little manatee. A uh, very popular piece where I live, so I've been using this mold for a few years. I don't know how many of this manatee I've made out of it, but a bunch. And as you can see, it's used. Uh, a little dirty, which is normal when you use them. But it's in perfectly good condition, okay? There's no sticky, rotten spots on the rubber. It um, still holds its shape. It's still flexible. Other than being dirty, it's just fine. There's no problem with it whatsoever. Uh, if I were to wash this up really good, it would be just as good as the day it was first used. Okay, and this is several years old, and then uh, this one actually got tossed uh, to the side because I uh, had made plenty of these uh, manatees, so I uh, didn't need to make any more for the time being, so I tossed it in a box and forgot about it for a few months, and I grabbed it out of the box, and it's still perfectly fine, okay? Uh, no problem there. Here is another used mold of mine. And again, these get used in a fiberglass shell. I'm just showing you the rubber. Uh, but this one, again, used mold, but uh, no sticky spots. Again, this is, I think this one's probably two or three years old. Um, and this one I don't use as much. That's why it looks a little cleaner, but it's uh, still in perfectly good shape. And here's the reason why, folks, and this is the problem I'm having with uh, people on the internet. This is what I use as the base of my mold release 70 percent rubbing alcohol i take this and i mix it with just a little bit of castor oil put it in a spray bottle mix it all up and then spray the inside of the molds that is what i use for a mold release i still have people that are contacting me arguing that fact that they go and use cooking spray or petroleum jelly or soap or some special mold release they buy online um I cannot make this clear enough, folks. If you are using any petroleum-based product, and a lot of soaps have a, a little bit of petroleum in them, that will destroy your rubber, okay? Rubber does not stand up to petroleum products. It will start to get sticky and dissolve. If it's not something with petroleum in it, leaving it in direct sunlight for an extended period of time will do the same thing. It breaks down the components of the rubber and will eventually destroy your mold. Now the reason I'm doing this video, I've talked about mold release before, but there is so much misinformation on the internet. I've seen videos of people using cooking spray on molds and then using them outside in the direct sun. They're like, leave them there till the next day, then go, hey, that'll work three or four times and then your mold's going to be garbage. Okay, this mold I've poured I don't know, literally dozens and dozens of this statue out of it. It's a few years old, still perfectly fine. Okay, that's how my molds look when they're taken care of, okay? But in comparison, I had a lady that purchased one of my most expensive molds, a great big lion mold. She uh, contacted me all angry, I mean, just livid, because her mold uh, only lasted three or four uses, and then it started getting gooey and started getting holes in it and tearing apart. I instantly knew there was something done improperly with the mold. But she insisted that my mold was made improperly. Uh, well, she finally admitted that for her mold release, she saw a video that said to spray it with cooking spray and then give it a nice coat of petroleum jelly all on the inside of the mold. Well, folks, that will destroy the mold almost within just a few days. Your mold's going to be garbage. And I had to show her information, you know, and, and send it to her that, you know, she failed to follow my directions on the molds and uh, she did something that destroyed it. It's just like putting sugar in your car's gas tank, folks. If you do that, it's not the car manufacturer's fault, okay? Um, that's why I'm trying to make it clear and get this information out there that all these videos people are posting up showing cooking spray and different things, those are bad videos bad advice. My family's been doing this since the 60s. I've been in the business myself for about 30 years. This, any mold company that's out there will tell, not unless they're trying to sell their own brand of mold release, but any company out there that's in the latex rubber business will show you that you want to use the rubbing alcohol like this mixed with castor oil. And again, this is the 70% alcohol. Don't use the 90 or the 100%. That's too strong. Use the 70%. And if all you can get is 90 or 100%, you need to dilute it with water first before you add the little bit of castor oil. The castor oil is the actual mold release. You need the alcohol to dilute the castor oil so it's not too strong on the molds. But remember, castor oil is not a petroleum product. It's a plant-based oil. And that's what is used on these. And you see, years of use, the mold's still just fine. I also brought this just to show 
This isn't a mold, but I used my own latex rubber to make this attachment for a vacuum for sucking out drains and things. So this is always submersed in the gooey water. And where I live, for whatever reason, our plumbing is just awful and our drains get clogged all the time. I got tired of it. So I made this uh, attachment a couple years ago and this gets, you know, down in tubs and sinks and who knows what kind of stuff it's coming in contact with. And then I just take it and toss it in my garage. Still perfectly fine, okay? This never had a mold release put on it because it's not a mold, but it is the same latex rubber I use and it's perfectly fine. So uh, I'm just showing that to show that this rubber is strong. You just cannot let it get into contact with those bad elements that people apparently are continuing to do it. And if you want proof of how the molds work, here's a piece I just wanted to show you folks. This is uh, one of my favorite pelican statues that we make. Um, that is out of one of my own molds that I make. Uh, in fact, uh, it's available on my website at rubbermoldman.com. Beautiful detail on it, made with the same latex rubber. I don't know how many of that pelican I've made out of the this particular mold I have for it, but a lot, because this is a popular statue. Still works just fine. Apologize, a delivery truck just went by. But you see how beautiful the detail is and how uh, nice it is. And uh, obviously my paint job definitely adds a lot to it too. But here's the thing, that probably costs maybe a dollar tops in material. Uh, and I sell that for 40 to $50 easy. Uh, so that is a good profit margin for something. And again, it was made out of the same molds like these using the same mold release made out of the 70% rubbing alcohol and castor oil. So again, um, I'll keep doing these videos if need be until people seem to understand, but using anything other than that, I cannot guarantee what's going to happen to your mold or the quality of your statue. So, um, yeah, I guess that's about it. Just be careful what you see on the internet because a lot of it is not true. If you have any questions, feel free to contact me direct at my email, which is rubbermoldman at gmail.com. And I'm hoping to get back to my videos here soon, especially showing uh, I get a lot of requests about the painting. Uh, so I'm going to try to do some painting videos. Uh, this has just been a bad year for me. Uh, my wife and I now take care of my disabled mother, extremely disabled brother, and then our oldest daughter has been very sick all year and has had to have surgery. So it's been kind of a mess, but I'm trying to get back on track here. I'll start the videos up again and try to do some painting videos. But again, thanks for your attention and uh, watching this video, and I hope to be back real soon. Bye-bye.